Hello, I was just gonna try and show you here a modification I did for the 11th Doctor's sonic screwdriver here. This toy is kind of a little bit weird. I, I'd like to say it's a toy, but it is plastic prop from the show. But with this toy, there are a couple different things. I mean, there are the secret sounds that a lot of people know about. Um, I don't really want to do it with this because it does burn the sound chip if you do it. But you can press it two times, it makes a different sound. Press it three times, it makes a different sound. Press it um, four times, and it makes a different sound as well. But one big problem a lot of people had with this is that uh, there's one button here. And when it's not extended, that, that's the button that works and has full capability. But once you extend it here button doesn't work so tried to figure out a way to try and fix that because other than that when it's extended you just pop this off back here or tilt it back and that was the only way you could use it but I noticed that when you open it the red button actually pushes something here in this basic area um, about right here here in the, the stitching and if you wanted to just drill a hole in there I used an exacto knife and then just stuffed actually a little bit of paper in there and colored it with permanent marker doesn't really look like there's a hole there at all or much damage I mean you can see the bump and everything from it but it doesn't make it look too terrible I mean there are some modifications people made where it's just the hole there and you can put pressure on it but I thought um, when I was doing it it was a little bit hard you had to push down really hard so I was thinking well if you could put something in that hole it would make it a lot easier so I just rolled up paper and works fine but um, a lot of people would make the modifications where you wouldn't have the spring-loaded action they would completely take this apart and empty out everything that's in here on the bottom of the screwdriver and take out the spring and everything so that it doesn't shoot up and make it a little bit more like the prop so that you can flick it out like that. But one problem a lot of people had too is that you couldn't get it to stick down much if you try and do that. And it could get a little bit tough, you know, you just put it down and it just flops down but I thought try and make something that's a little bit easier so that you don't have to completely destroy what you just purchased in order to make it what you want but either way just basically real easy again just uh, take exacto knife I I made the hole a little bit bigger with these screwdrivers here but pretty cool toy functions really well and doesn't look like I modified it at all and yet it's my own custom screwdriver but either way hope you enjoy hope you can do the same wanted to try and show people it's really not that hard because a lot of the videos out there have you do amazing amounts of things to try and change it but enjoy and I hope you can get your screwdriver working perfectly have a good day